All right, hey guys, um, it's Judd. Uh, it's a new video I'm posting. Um, just got back uh, from Florida, like I told you on the PMs, uh, Sunday afternoon, about two o'clock, I guess uh, Central Time. We got home. Uh, was absolutely exhausted. Uh, pretty much went straight to bed. Uh, we did have a good time though. Spent the week at Disney World. Um, Unfortunately, I did not get a chance to hang out with Brandon Jackson. Uh, I talked to him on the phone twice, uh, but we didn't get a chance to meet up. Uh, excuse me. Uh, we kind of had an illness uh, in the family while we were down there and ended up having to leave sooner than we wanted to. Uh, however, I did get to meet a really cool guy down there. Uh, his name's David Chapman. Um, really cool guy, ranked eighth at a Florida State yo-yo contest. Uh, we kind of did a little trade. I traded him uh, one of my Project 2s for a uh, Caribou Lodge uh, Special Edition uh, Bear vs. Man. It was the Boyd vs. Uh, Augie Fash Special Edition. Um, and let me tell you guys, uh, I had, up until that point, had never played with the Caribou Lodge yo-yo. Uh, uh, I'm not a big fan of light and floaty, as you all well know. And that's what I'd kind of always been told about the uh, Caribou Lodge, is that they were kind of floaty. Uh, however, after getting to play with this BVM, uh, I had to have it. it it's just wonderful. Uh, great feel to it, great play. Uh, I would love to get my hands on another BVM uh, with, you know, a different colorway. Uh, but anywho, um, several of y'all have been PMing me, uh, asking me about the team yo-yos. Um, guys, I, I don't know what the situation is with that, to be just totally frank and honest. Um, I met Trey uh, several months ago, shortly before I started the team. Um, he is an oil field engineer, uh, lives in Shreveport, Louisiana. Uh, he originally told me uh, in the PM that he was wanting to find an up-and-coming uh, competitive yo-yo or to design a custom yo-yo for. Uh, I told him about our team. Um, he said he was extremely excited. He wanted to design a team yo-yo for us. Um, he was getting on AutoCAD, designing the yo-yo, taking our... our uh, taking our the things we liked you know our specs that we wanted uh, doing all that I, you know we were in contact pretty much back and forth on a regular basis um, everything was going good then there was about a week and a half that we didn't talk to each other when he finally got back with me he said that uh, you know work had just kept him busy he had been away from home which I completely understood that um, but then about a month and a half ago the communications just uh, stopped um, I've tried emailing him back um, he had gotten to the point, from what I understood with his designing process, he had gotten to the point to where he was about ready to start lathing out and actually making the first prototype. But uh, to my knowledge, he never got that far. Um, I don't know what happened. I've emailed him several times trying to get in contact with him, and uh, he just hasn't gotten back with me, guys. I don't want to say it's a lost cause. But I, I, I wouldn't bank your hopes on it. It's been about a month and a half uh, since I've talked to him. Guys, I truly apologize uh, for that falling through. Um, I really thought it was going to work out. Um, like I said, I, my sincerest apologies to you all. Um, but who knows, you know, he may end up getting in contact with me and I may walk out tomorrow and find a whole shipment of brand new yo-yos on my doorstep. I don't know. You know, who knows. Um, I would like to say thanks to uh, Dallas. Dallas is uh, one of our team members. Uh, his uh, username is Medallion. He did a trade with me. Uh, I sent him my Shuriken and my CU, and he sent me this wonderful uh, pre-production wedgie right here. And let me tell you something, guys. I was expecting uh, pre-pro a raw aluminum silver color, and I got this absolutely gorgeous bead-blasted pearl. Uh, it, it looks similar to me to the color on the pictures of uh, the I Love Yo-Yo Rocket, that pearl candy blast color. But let me tell you something. You guys that, uh, that haven't played a wedgie yet, uh, you need to play a wedgie. You need to get a wedgie. You cannot go wrong with a wedgie. I was not a fan of small bearing yo-yos. Um, however, guys, the gap on this thing is as big as it is on uh, the Bully, which is a C bearing yo-yo. The gap is uh, four millimeters, I believe. Uh, great for string tricks room for plenty of layers of string on there complicated string tricks and this thing is possibly the smoothest and best playing yo-yo I've ever played with uh, it is just absolutely smooth uh, it's dead silent 
um, dead unresponsive, just an absolutely excellent yo-yo. Um, but anyway, I'm going to cut this video a little short today, guys. Um, to be just totally honest, I've got a headache. But uh, y'all check this video out. Um, if you have any questions, PM me. Um, I will be in contact now uh, Now that I'm back home. Uh, and y'all send me some uh, PMs. Let me know uh, what kind of uh, tricks y'all are working on. Uh, right now I'm working on, uh, still working on Endure, which is a 1A trick. It's an extremely long trick. The, tutor the tutorial itself is, is seven minutes. Uh, but I'm actually about halfway through with that trick. Uh, and I'm about to pick another trick to start working on. But anyway, guys, y'all hit me up. Uh, let me know what's going on. Talk to y'all later, fellas.